Hey there data folks, it's Imad and today we are diving into something super cool, data migration. We are going to embark on a journey that's a bit like a well-organized move to a new house. But instead of physical belongings, we are moving data. Just like how packers and movers use their tools and expertise to ensure a smooth move, we are going to use Azure Data Factory as our trusty tool to make our data migration seamless. But before we dive into the technical details, I want to introduce you to a valuable resource, my website, datartic.com. It's like the moving checklist for our data journey. I have created a step-by-step -step blog post on data migration, which you can find them right there on the website. These guides will complement what we discuss today and provide you with the detailed insights into the data migration process. Now, why do we even need to migrate data? Well, think of it this way. When you move to a new house, you might need a bigger and better space to accommodate your growing family or changing lifestyle. Similarly, organizations evolve and so do their data needs. Sometimes you need a more spacious, scalable and flexible data warehousing solution. And that's where Snowflake comes into play. Snowflake, if it's new to you, consider it like the dream home you're moving to. It's a cloud-based data warehousing platform that's been designed for maximum efficiency and ease of use. So just like the experienced packers and movers, we have our Azure Data Factory in our toolkit. ADF is like the moving van that carries our precious data from old house SQL Server in our case to the new one Snowflake. Now let's break down the data migration process step by step. This is the architecture that we will be following in our data migration series. ADF here acts as our expert team, carefully packing our data, ensuring nothing gets left behind. It creates the moving plan, that is our data pipelines, organizes the boxes, data objects, and safely transports them into their new home. The source here is our SQL server with, where all the tables reside, waiting to be migrated. Imagine staging area as a temporary place where we store all our data, just like how the movers take a stop somewhere and then resume onward to put the data into its final destination snowflake. This journey is all about learning and growing together. If you have any questions or want me to cover specific topics related to data migration or anything else data related, drop them in the comments below. I'll be covering this architecture in depth in the next series of these videos. So if you're as excited about data migration as I am, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have got a fantastic data migration journey ahead and it's time to start packing our data bags. All right, folks, see you guys in the next video.